When you write a research paper, there are steps that are helpful to follow. First, you need to identify your topic. Make sure the topic is clear and isn't too broad or too narrow. Then, gather information on your topic from a variety of sources. Next, evaluate the information you've gathered and group it into categories that you can write about. Finally, incorporate your ideas with the information you've collected. Let's watch a short film on magnetism. Then we will start the process of writing a research paper. People first discovered magnetism when they found a dark stone that attracted iron with an invisible force. They thought it was a miracle. The stone was called lodestone. It is an iron ore, which is a natural magnet. The Greeks found deposits of lodestone in the province of Magnesia. That's how magnets got their name. By 1269, Petrus Peregrinus began to explain how magnets worked. He reported that all lodestone, if allowed to rotate freely, pointed in the same direction. Peregrinus also demonstrated that the rock could transfer its magnetic power to an ordinary iron needle. In 1600, William Gilbert discovered that a magnetized needle, when floated in water, not only pointed north, but also slanted down towards Earth. This amazing discovery led to the invention of the compass. Now, sailors would be able to use the compass instead of relying on the sun and stars to navigate their ships. Scientists have found the occurrence of this magnetic phenomenon in birds. When dissected, a bird's brain shows it contains magnetic properties. Birds have built-in compasses that help them navigate the skies. Scientists have even found these same magnetic properties within human beings. Researchers today believe that magnetism comes from currents in the liquid metals in the Earth's core, making Earth itself a giant magnet. Together with the electricity, magnetism ignited the machine age and sparked the modern world, playing an integral role in development of everything from motors and appliances to CAT scan machines and monorails. The discovery of magnetism was vital to man's understanding of the physical universe and the progress of technology, and has forever changed the world as we know it. Let's take a closer look at magnetism and start the process of writing a research paper. Based on the short film source you just watched, what could be the main topic for a research paper on magnetism? Start by searching for possible topics. A good main topic would be, how does magnetism affect our daily lives? By choosing to focus on one aspect of a larger topic, you can gather material and data specific to what you'll need. If you were to evaluate information by order of importance, which topics would come first? The effects of magnetism or the discovery of magnetism? When organizing your ideas in a paper, it's important to use chronology as a factor. The discovery of magnetism will come first, followed by the effects of magnetism. You can use source information to better illustrate ideas and provide interesting and insightful information to your readers. In this online encyclopedia, we find that birds have magnetic material in their brains that allows them to navigate the skies. You can draw an analogy between these biological compasses found in birds and man's use of compasses in navigating the seas as you write about the effects of magnetism. When you write a research paper, there are steps that are helpful to follow. 
First, you need to identify your topic. Make sure the topic is clear and isn't too broad or too narrow. Then gather information on your topic from a variety of sources. Next, evaluate the information you've gathered and group it into categories that you can write about. Finally, incorporate your ideas with the information you've collected. Select a science topic to write about. Use this process of writing a research paper as a guide to prepare an outline. 